Hey guys, I wanted to take a few minutes and show you uh, one of the, the really cool brewing programs that I've discovered. Um, for those of you who don't know, I've been looking for some way to easily record and archive um, my recipes because I'm not a great documenter. I don't write anything down. Usually I just, uh, I brew a lot like I cook, which is just kind of off the cuff. But with this software, uh, after testing several out there, this is actually a, a paid software, it's $20 for the license, but I've tried several free ones out there, uh, like BrewTarget and a couple others, and they all, they're free. Um, they all have um, some drawbacks to them, but the thing that really sold me on this one was it comes with like 300 free recipes for 20 bucks. Hell, I would have paid that just for the recipes. But... Um, so I'm going to give you guys a quick tour, and I'm probably going to do a series of these videos um, just uh, to do the give you guys an orientation on how to use it, because it took me a little while to figure it out. So um, this is what it looks like once you get, get it installed, and it comes with like a 21-day free trial. Um, you have a bunch of stuff over here on the left-hand side that um, <clears throat> gets you access to all the different views and the tools and beer styles and uh, you have a control bar up top just like you have in any other Windows program but um, <clears throat> you'll initially start out with just this sample recipes folder and if you look over on the right hand side as I scroll down you can see it comes with quite a few recipes um, just in the basic install and the bottom screen down here shows you a breakdown of what's in that recipe ingredients style information color and all that fun stuff and even uh, how to carbonate it how much sugar to use and all that fun stuff um, there's also um, they offer through uh, Beersmith who I'm actually in business with them now I'm an affiliate from them I like their their program so much I actually offer it for sale on my website um, <clears throat> part of the, the recipes you can import which I'm going to do a video later and show you how to import um, are already installed on mine as I scroll down you can see there's just an insane amount of recipes these are all extract brews. Uh, I made a new folder called My Recipes that's got, uh, there's the, um, the Man Baker Dunkel Weizen um, recipe that I put together in my Spiced Pumpkin Mead recipe in the Braggot. I did a video on these two and I'm going to do a video on the Spiced Pumpkin Mead here in a bit. Um, most of these recipes are available through the Simple Home Brewing website. If you go to simplehomebrewing.com and go to Beersmith, I've got these up for free so you can download them. You have to have at least the free trial of Beersmith installed to be able to see them. Um, I think some of the free um, tools, some of the free programs out there use Beer XML, which is what I post mine up at, so you can import them into the free tools. But like I said, the, the free tools are a little lacking, and as we get into the videos, I'll, I'll show you why I think they're a little lacking. Um, these are also, um, it also comes with partial mash recipes, which that's where you're using both extract and you're using grains, which is the brewing method I'm adopting right now. Uh, it's kind of the best of both worlds. You don't have to do a giant all grain application. You can get your base beer set up with just extracts and then tweak it with specialty grains. And then I have another folder down here uh, that I've just created. You can organize this however you want, uh, called Want to Try. And I've got a couple of different recipes in here that um, <clears throat> that I want to play with eventually. Uh, in this one, I'm going to put this up on the website um, sooner or later, is the Strawbana Cabana Mead. It's Kurt Stock's um, mead recipe. He actually won an AMA, uh, American Home Brewers Association, gold medal with this recipe. It's, it's really, really awesome. So I'm going to try that, but he used strawberry and banana. I think I'm going to tweak it a little bit and use strawberry and kiwi, um, but I'm going to put that up there. Um, you've also got a calendar view that you can look at that'll show you, you know, how long your stuff was in the keg and just gives you a good calendar breakdown because you can put dates and all that stuff. This, it's not only, this application doesn't let you just record your recipes, it lets you build and tweak the recipes and it's got calculators built into it. Um, and you can time and schedule all your stuff out, uh, so that, you know, like, as long as you record the date you put your your batch in the fermenter, you can go back and look and say, oh, has it been 25 days? Has it been 30 days? It charts all that stuff out for you. 
So uh, it's got comes preloaded with just an amazing amount of grains and hops and ingredients that you know all this stuff is probably in your local home brewer shop or you can get it through the, uh, my affiliate High Gravity, but it comes preloaded with all this stuff. That's the the grain and hop stuff. Um, so here's the the hops, just to give you an idea of everything that comes in this program. It's really amazing. Miscellaneous is all your herbs and all that fun stuff. Now if you don't have, if you don't see uh, what's listed here, especially with spices, you know, there are millions of spices out there uh, in the world, um, it's very, very easy to add your own spices and add your own stuff if it's not already in here. And I'm going to do a, a video on that. Um, so it also has all the 2010, or the um, they update it every year with all the um, BJCP beer styles, the official styles that are used in competition. So you can measure your recipe up against what the official style is supposed to be. And uh, man, that's really really cool to be able to do that. Uh, so like for instance, if I'm doing a um, let's see, let me find one. There we go. If I'm doing a, my phone's going off. If I'm doing a sweet mead, it's got all the information, the BJCB. Um, or BJCP has on sweet meads. Um, all their criteria that you should be in to be in a sweet mead, I can measure my recipe against theirs. And this shows up actually on your recipe page, which is awesome. Now it also has an amazing array of water profiles because different water is different. It's got different calcium and magnesium, sodium, chloride, um, all sorts of different properties to the water and that can affect your recipe. So um, it's got like water built in for major cities. Uh, it doesn't have it in Houston but um, and it, it doesn't come with Ozarka, which is what I use. But if you use Ozarka like me, just stop the video when you're ready, when you actually install the program, and take those numbers off the screen there. And that's the profile for Ozarka water, just so you have it. Um, here's the yeast selection. It's got just an amazing amount of yeasts. And if you don't have a yeast that's um, uh, listed in here, all you have to do is go to New Yeast right there, fill out the information. Um, really, the uh, the most important things are the average attenuation, which is right there, and your minimum and maximum temperature. And you can get that from the yeast manufacturer's website. Uh, I've only found one yeast that I use that's not in here, um, and I went and looked that up on the White Lab site, and it was no problem to add. Um, it also comes with uh, a pretty cool assortment of all the basic uh, home brewing gear that almost everybody uses. Um, most of my recipes were uh, originally set up to do three gallons uh, concentrated boil for a five gallon batch because all I had was a three gallon pot. But now I have a stainless steel five gallon pot. So I, it actually compensates for the, the gravity of doing a condensed brew and all your stuff, which is really, really, really nice. Um, I'm not really getting into the big mash stuff. This is really important when you're doing all grain stuff, which I haven't gotten into. But it comes with all the basic mash profiles that you can, uh, you can add to your recipe. It'll even maintain an inventory for you of uh, everything you have in stock. You know, you can tell it, well, I have two or three ounces of this, or I have a couple of pounds of this grain. It'll do that. And based off that inventory and what your recipe is for your brew day, it'll actually even calculate a shopping list of what you don't have in your inventory, which I don't keep any inventory at all, so everything's on my shopping list. But what's also cool is that uh, all the ingredients have an average cost that's, um, that's actually pretty accurate. Um, so it, it'll tell you this recipe is going to cost you this amount of money, which is pretty cool. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how that, that builds out in a future video. Um, and it also, you can attach notes to all your recipes, and it's got a recycle bin. Um, so that if you accidentally delete something, you can just go back. You know, those are all stuff that I've played with and deleted, just tweaking. 
So under tools, you get a lot of really, really cool stuff that I honestly just haven't had a whole lot of time to play with. But it's got all the calculators you need to calculate stuff like boil off and hops bitterness. I have some of this stuff on my phone because um, I've got a smartphone. But if you needed to, to calculate, you know, how long uh, do I need to boil with this hops that have this alpha level and my gravity is this and I want to have, you know, X, Y, and Z bitterness level, IBU then you can put all that info in here and it'll do your first, second, and third hops. It'll just calculate it all out for you. Uh, hydrometer adjustments for temperature, which is awesome. Um, carbonation, uh, sorry, I skipped the alcohol attenuation. Um, you can plug those numbers in. I really haven't found a, a whole lot of use for this calculator yet, but the carbonation calculator, if you're carbonating in bottle, is just absolutely amazing. I really love this stuff. Um, it's a dilution tool in case you need to lower your uh, your gravity. It'll tell you what your projected stuff is and how much water is needed. Uh, I'm going to start getting into this. I don't have one yet, but I'm going to do a uh, um, video tutorial for refractometers. Um, so it's got all this stuff built in so you can do calculations uh, based off of that. And then weight to volume, and it's got you know basic unit conversions and temperature stuff volume units and weight units just to convert ounces to pounds and grams to kilograms and all that fun stuff. So yeah, that's the basic premise of what the software does.